Recently, Russia's deep-sea nuclear submarine Losharik is reportedly due to finally complete its overhaul and modernization procedures after an accident on board in 2019 that killed 14 of its crew. It is supposedly finally prepared to conduct a series of sea trials this year. The Losharik, also known as the AS-31 and formerly designated as AS-12, is a Russian deep-diving nuclear-powered submarine reportedly designed and built for a variety of special missions. These reportedly include underwater salvage, the installation of sensors and other devices on the seabed, and possibly the cutting of undersea cables. The potential that it would be pressed into service to carry out this latter mission has become an increasing concern among U.S. and NATO war planners due to recent incidents involving sabotage of these cables by Russian and Chinese commercial vessels. The boat was launched in 2003, but was put out of commission when a fire broke out during a mission and caused the tragic death of 14 crew members, as mentioned above, with many of them being highly experienced officers. Russia's AS-31 Losharik, a nuclear-powered deep-diving submarine, stands as a testament to the nation's engineering ingenuity and its relentless pursuit of undersea dominance. Capable of plunging to depths of 19,700 feet, this titanium-hulled marvel is a unique asset in modern naval warfare, designed for missions that push the boundaries of what submarines can achieve. As NATO watches with wary eyes, the Losharik's return to service in 2025 after a harrowing 2019 fire underscores Russia's commitment to maintaining a strategic edge in the deep ocean. The Russian Navy's AS-31 Losharik, also known as Project 210, is no ordinary submarine. Operated by the secretive Main Directorate for Deep Sea Research GUGI, this vessel is purpose-built for covert operations, underwater reconnaissance, and special missions critical to Russia's strategic interests, particularly in the Arctic. Its ability to dive to 19,700 feet, far deeper than any Western submarine, sets it apart as a technological triumph. The Losharik's design, featuring seven interconnected titanium spherical hulls, allows it to withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean making it a formidable tool for Russia's ambitions in contested maritime domains. Titanium, the cornerstone of the Losharik's construction, is a material that embodies both strength and rarity. Stronger than steel yet half the weight, titanium can endure extreme pressures enabling dives to depths unattainable by conventional steel-hulled submarines. Its corrosion resistance in saltwater ensures longevity, while its paramagnetic properties reduce detectability by magnetic anomaly detectors, enhancing stealth. The Soviet Union, and later Russia, leveraged its position as a leading titanium producer to pioneer its use in submarine hulls, a feat the U.S. Navy considered, but ultimately deemed too costly and complex to pursue. The Losharik's hull, composed of spherical compartments, maximizes structural integrity, allowing it to operate in environments where other submarines would falter. The Losharik's journey has not been without challenges. In 2019, a devastating fire broke out aboard the vessel, while it was conducting seabed measurements in Russian territorial waters. The blaze, triggered by an explosion in the battery compartment, claimed the lives of 14 crew members, including seven high-ranking captains, an unusually high concentration of senior officers that hinted at the mission's sensitivity. The fire damaged critical systems, but Russia's state news agency TASS reported that the titanium hull remained intact, preserving the submarine's core deep-diving capability. After nearly five years of meticulous repairs, including the replacement of its nuclear reactor fuel, the Losharik is set to undergo sea trials in 2025, signaling Russia's determination to restore this unique asset to operational status.
The Losharik's capabilities extend beyond its impressive dive depth. Operated by a small crew of approximately 25, the submarine is designed for precision missions, such as manipulating undersea cables, conducting scientific research, or deploying advanced sensors in strategic regions like the Arctic. Its nuclear propulsion system provides near-unlimited endurance, allowing it to loiter at extreme depths for extended periods. This makes it a significant concern for NATO, as the ability to tamper with undersea communication cables or gather intelligence in contested waters could disrupt Western military and economic operations. The Losharik's return to service reinforces Russia's focus on asymmetric naval strategies, leveraging specialized platforms to counterbalance NATO's numerical advantages. Russia's investment in titanium-hulled submarines like the Losharik builds on a legacy of innovation that began during the Cold War with the Project 705 Lira Alpha-class submarines. Those vessels, also titanium-hulled, achieved speeds of 41 knots in dives to 2,200 feet, outpacing and outdiving their Western counterparts. While the Alpha-class faced maintenance challenges due to its complex lead-bismuth-cooled reactors and noisy operation, the Losharik represents a refined approach, prioritizing stealth and deep-sea endurance over raw speed. The use of titanium, though expensive and difficult to work with, has proven its worth in enabling submarines to operate in environments previously thought unreachable. As the Lasharik prepares for sea trials in 2025, it serves as a reminder of Russia's ability to innovate under pressure. The submarine's titanium hull, nuclear propulsion, and extreme depth capabilities make it a unique asset in modern naval warfare. While the West may question the cost-effectiveness of such platforms, Russia's commitment to the Losharik reflects a broader vision to maintain technological superiority in niche but critical domains. For now, the Losharik prowls the deep, a silent sentinel of Russia's maritime ambitions, unmatched by any submarine in the world.